Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? These lashes are everything. Oh my God, I feel like I have a cat hair all over my face. Oh, Jaden washed my beauty sponge. I have cat hair everywhere. It's kind of distracting me right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a flushed summer makeup look that you are going to love. I have like a flush look on my lips and my cheeks. It's one product and it will literally change your summer makeup routine. It is so good. It's kind of like that look when you just saw someone that was like really cute, when you got a little embarrassed or you're like, you know, one of those moments. So I absolutely love it. I think it's super cute and I am gonna be doing this all summer. So if you wanna see how I got this flushed summer makeup look, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam. And without further ado, let's get into this video. We are going to skin prep first. As you can see, there are brows on my face. I'm gonna go in with this Frequency. It's a vitamin C balm from Monday Born. And I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. You're supposed to apply this after you've done your essence and you've just cleansed your skin. So I'm just putting that all over. I love that it's a balm. It just creates less jars and more space for more skincare on my bathroom counter. And I can just take this with me if I wanna travel. I love that. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Augustinus Bader, the light cream. I just got this in PR and I'm so excited because you guys know how much I love the rich cream. So I'm just gonna apply some of, some of this. I don't know why my pump is like that, but it's a little hard to pump out. This is great for like a daytime moisturizer because it's super lightweight, but you can feel the hydrating effect getting deep into the skin, which I love. So my skin prep is a few steps, but this is the last step, I promise. I'm gonna be using the Zitstika Mega Shade SPF 50, and it's supposed to be breakout proof. I have been using this for the past month, and I can confirm I have not broken out. Looks like so, and I just like bring it into the skin. Anytime I accidentally get SPF on my under eyes, my eyes cry, so I try to avoid that area. If anybody has any tips on how to apply SPF to your under eyes, like let me know in the comments. Like, I definitely need some help in this area because it cries every single time I try to do it. This is a really good one. I never break out with it. Amazing, and I have very sensitive skin, if for those of you who are wondering, very sensitive dry skin. So now that my skin is prepped, this is gonna be such an easy makeup look, you guys. Just very effortlessly natural, beautiful summer makeup. Oh, Jaden washed my beauty sponge. I have cat hair everywhere. It's kind of distracting me right now. So next I'm gonna go in with the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. This has been such a game changer for my skin. It makes my skin look so good. It just looks like really good skin. I'm in the shade 35. I think I showed you this before, but I love this little applicator. And it's just so easy to apply. It gives you the most beautiful dewy skin finish. I had somebody tell me the other day, wow, your skin looks really nice. And I was like, thank you. Because I had this makeup look on and they gave me a compliment on my skin. So it made me feel really good and I know it was because of the products that I had on my face. So I was like, you know what? Let me do a video on that so I can show everyone. I feel like everybody needs to try this out. See how it gives you just like a really natural dewy kind of finish. Oh, I love it. And it's SPF. So layering all the SPF, I'm all about it. Because the eyebrows are done, I'm gonna go in with the brush. This is my little IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe number seven brush. And when I get around this area, I'll just use this tiny brush. And then when it comes to my eyelids, I'll just like lightly apply it there. I am still gonna apply some concealer. I don't really go heavy under the eyes and just make sure it's blended really nicely into the skin. You guys, I've been gone for a little bit. I went to Rome with Valentino. Such an epic, epic trip. And I vlogged it, but I'm not a great vlogger. I didn't really talk much, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the video. But I had the best time. And Jaden just got back from his summer vacation. So Caesar and I have been having a lot of me time. It's been a lot of fun for all of us. But we are planning to do a family trip I think we're gonna go to New York. Jaden's never been to New York and he kind of wants to see what it's about. So we're gonna go check it out. This is such an amazing tip. I learned this from Vincent Ford on TikTok. I did like two videos on it already on TikTok. He mixes an eye primer with concealer and it looks flawless. You don't have to set it. I'm gonna set mine, but it just doesn't crease at all throughout the day and I love it. So I'm taking this crease proof eye base and I'm also using this concealer and I just mix it together and it's just the beautiful, beautiful mix. Just put it right on top of your dark circles. Something that I have really been liking to do is not going all the way up to that area. I'll just use a brush to do that. The coverage is absolutely amazing and then it just 
stays in place all day. So I'm just gonna take it here. I try to avoid right underneath the eye. Somehow it still gets there, but I try to avoid it. I'll just use the concealer right on the T-zone to brighten. Just brush, it's been a lifesaver. It is from the Makeup Shack. Oh, that's old school. It's the T94 and I just get it into this corner and then I blend out right here so it's not like an abrupt stop. I'll go into this dark area right here in my eye and blend out with this brush. It's so good, especially around the nose. Sometimes you know how it doesn't get into this like little fold. This just blends it in so nicely. So this part of my routine makes this such a unique summer makeup look for me. I am gonna be doing this all summer. It's so easy, it's quick, and you're basically done with your makeup. I'm not gonna really do much eyeshadow or anything. So what I do is I've been taking the Benetint. It's this, I think this is in the shade Rose, the original one. Oh my God, I feel like I have a cat hair all over my face. So it looks like this and I love it. So I'm just gonna take it on my cheeks and I, you wanna blend it in pretty quickly. So don't just let it sit there. Blend it in, use your finger or like a beauty sponge, but I'm just gonna use my finger. And I just take it right there and it lasts all day, you guys. This isn't going anywhere. So just set it there and it will not budge. It's a stain, so you can put it on your cheeks and your lips and I've been, I've been doing that on both. And it looks so good. It gives you this natural flush of color. It just looks like you've been in the sun, kind of sunbathing a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this on my nose and kind of just go right across this area. Take a little bit more and blend that in. And you wanna blend right when you apply it because it will stain in that area like that. It dries pretty quickly, so you wanna work with it quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my lip. And what I like doing with this is overlining just the top. So I do have filler in my lip and it kind of leaves this like space up there that has like a shape to it, but there's no like lip skin there. So I just put a little bit of this stain over it and it makes my lip look like bigger, just naturally bigger. And then I just outline my lip and you let it sit there for a little bit because I want my lips to stay pink all day. So you'll get this like pink flush on your cheeks and lips. And I just let it sit and marinate and I'll do something else. Actually, perfect. I'm gonna curl my lashes right now while that's marinating. I'll put on some lashes. I have the perfect summer lashes for you guys too in this video. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to show you. I probably look so crazy right now in red. We're gonna blend it out though. We want it to be this crazy in red because we want it to last because it's not gonna stay like this. I'm gonna go back into the Sunny Days SPF and just add that back over the cheek. I actually should have done this first. Oh wow. Just blend it in, use a beauty sponge. You see how it's like, if I do this, it's definitely overlined. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it a little less red. Okay, I'm giving summer flush, so I'm gonna contour my nose. And to do that, I've been using this Vanity Makeup Sculpt and Glow Medium Trio Palette, but I think I've talked about this a million times. I only use this shade right here. It's so good. So I'm just gonna contour my nose a little bit and I'll do like this area because it adds a little more symmetry and shape to my nose. And then right in here, just darkening that area up to shorten the nose a little bit and just softly going over this area so it looks a little bit more buttony. This is like a contour that I do every day. I love this contour. It's just part of my routine and it's gonna lift your eyes. Just give you a little eye lift. So I'm gonna add a little bit right here and also gives dimension to the eye if you don't feel like putting on a lot of makeup but you still want like a nice natural defined eye. So I'm gonna do that and probably my forehead a little bit. But my cheeks, I'm gonna leave them alone. And this little brush right here, this is from Vanity Makeup 2. I think it's their nose contour, but I use it for my full face because it gives you a more precise blend. So I'll go in with that. I just started working out again, you guys. I think I've gained 10 pounds this year. I'm like 10 pounds heavier than I've ever been. And I just can feel that in my clothes because everything's a lot tighter now and it's uncomfortably tight. So I feel like I have to be healthier and I have to go to the gym. So I've been, I just started yesterday, day one. Wish me luck. <laughs> and I have to hide this double chin because it is real. I love doing little quick tips on here for shorts. 
and I did this hack on how to hide the double chin. At the time, I feel like I didn't really have one, but I still, it was a hack that really works. And now I feel like I can actually use the hack. So now that that's all blended, I'm gonna set my under eyes. And to set, I'm gonna use this setting powder, smooth and blur, and this little sponge, which, not sponge, but powder puff. If you haven't got these, you need these. They set your makeup so precisely, beautifully, and melts everything into the skin. You can get them on Amazon. So I'm gonna look up and make sure that everything is nice and set and bright. With the trick I did earlier, you really don't have to set, but I just want to be extra today. So we're just gonna set it anyways. Kind of have extra coverage. And see how it like gets into the folds of the nose and the inner corners. I love it. And bam, we're all blurred and set in place. So I'm just gonna set and bronze up the face a little bit. I'm using the Glowish Medium Tan Luminous Press Powder and just putting a little bit of that on my forehead and around the nose a little bit and just a little bit around the cheeks, not too much because we want the blush to really be the star of the show. But we also want to make sure everything's set in place. So I'm just going to go around the cheek area and then the chin, like the perimeter of the face. And then for the eyes, I'm going to take the same powder and just go in where we put the contour. You don't have to be precise with it, just kind of be a little messy even, works even better. And just go in there and do that. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and put it on the lower lash line so it's not super pale up here. And it just looks more balanced and natural. To make sure I'm extra rosy, I'm gonna go ahead and take this new Pat McGrath blush. Honestly, I've never used it. I wanna use it. I just wanna put it on my face today. Typically, I just kind of leave it like this and go about my day. Actually, I would put lashes on first and then go about my day. But I wanna try this out. This is the new Pat McGrath blush. This is blush without caution. Fabulous, flirtatious, and sexy seductions may result with prolonged use. So cute. So I'm just gonna take that over everything and just a little bit because I don't want to cover up the pink of the Benetint, but very pretty. I'm even putting it over my lip. So now I'm gonna put some lashes on. These are my lashes of the summer, you guys. Need these lashes. So they're in here backwards, ignore that. So these are the Style Bear from Birdie Lashes. So perfect. The most natural but flirty lash. They're already cut to my eye shape and everything. So I'm just gonna put them on really quick. First, I put on this House of Lashes Lash Glue. It's clear. Let that sit. And then I'll put some of this Duo Lash Glue on the lash. I think I talked about these last video. These are my favorite lashes of the summer. You need these lashes. They are the perfect everyday lash. I'm really into clothes, fashion, style and I wanna showcase that a little bit more. So I'm gonna give you guys some inspo for summer outfits and color in this video. So later on, after I do my makeup, I will show you that. So I'm gonna put this lash on first before I get distracted. Look how pretty that lash is. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? These lashes are everything. Like you need these lashes. So I never watch Sex in the City. I've never been that girl to watch that. I always feel like it's like, I don't know, just uninteresting to me. But lately, actually just on my flight to Rome because it was so long, I picked a show to watch that I've never watched before. And that was the one I picked. And oh my God, I fell in love. Like Carrie Bradshaw, I wanna be her. I wanna wear all the things, all the designer things every single day of my life. Like, wow, what a fantasy. Now I can't wait for the new season to come out. The mascara that I've been really liking is this one from Valentino. It's just so nice. Just put a little bit of that on. It makes the lashes a little bit more dramatic and I'm all about the drama on my eyes. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do some on the lower lashes. I'm also gonna mix in the MAC Extended Play. Oh my God, that mascara is so good. It doesn't get clumpy. It doesn't like go overboard. It's precise. I love, love, love this mascara for the lower lashes. You can just go about your life with the lip like this, but I always wanna add a little bit more. So I'm gonna just add Pillow Talk Lip Liner from Charlotte Tilbury. It's super natural. Just gives you a little bit more definition. And then I'm gonna mix these two glosses. This is the, this is such a pretty pinks from item beauty it's called hey y'all i'm gonna mix this one on so it smells so good so i'm gonna put that on first and then i'm gonna go in with the nars orgasm gloss and it has these like hot pink 
reflex in it Ugh, it's so pretty okay that is my full completed summer makeup look really nothing going on with the eyes just all about the flushed look on the lips and cheeks then i'm gonna go in with the rare beauty always an optimist mist well it's very setting spray this is not gonna let your makeup move it's gonna stay in place all day so i love this do not touch your face let it dry and you're gonna have the most flawless looking skin. Okay, so now that our makeup's done, I'm gonna show you guys my go-to summer hairstyle and it's literally just this. So I already curled my hair. That's like the big part of it, but this is what's gonna make it look like a summer hairstyle. So I'm gonna just take these two little pieces of bangs right here. If you don't have bangs, that's fine. You can still do the same thing and you can get a really cute look with it but I'm just going to braid this area right here and I'm not gonna put a tie on it. I'm just gonna braid it really tight and leave it. And then you'll see it's so cute. It just stays in place. It doesn't have to be perfect and it's super cute. I'll just fluff out my hair now and there you go. It's a must try. You have to try this hairstyle. Now I'm gonna show you guys my go-to pieces for the summer and my go-to color. Okay, so I love to be dressy, but I also really like to be comfortable. So I got two ideas for you guys. So the first one is a short set from White Fox. They're actually both from White Fox. Kind of crazy, I didn't realize that, but they are so cute and comfortable. Like I could just chill in this all day with a little white bandeau. I actually have one right here. Put it underneath. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on right now. Okay, so I decided while I was trying it on, this is super cute. I just wish I didn't tie it and put it in the dryer. That's why it looks like this. But you can't tell me that this isn't cute by itself. Like, how cute is this? Okay, so you can wear it this way or you can wear it with a white bandeau underneath, which I had, but I feel like this is the vibe. I feel like I was really far out on the last one, but I want to be like in frame. So I think this is a good frame. I didn't like how this look tied. I think because when I first got it, it was loose and it was kind of oversized. When I washed it, it kind of got tight, which I don't mind, but now I have to like do something with these. I would not actually tie it. It looks kind of funny because it's too tight and this is like billowy. So I definitely would just wear it like this with the top. This is super cute and very wearable. I actually will wear this today. I feel like this is more my vibe for like an everyday mom vibes. I love the green. I love the texture. Clothing material with textures just does something different to your outfit. And I just love that about this set right here. The color is so summer and so lively. I really love love green lately i just i really love it like that lime green kind of look lime green to me right now just screams summer so i'm going to show you guys the next outfit which is a dress in the same color because i'm obsessed i'm gonna put this on and i'll be right back. okay how adorable is this dress one out of ten let me know i think it's so cute it is a little short in the back but i love the cutout on the sides and just the way it fits it's so comfortable a little short, like I said, but everything else just feels very lightweight. It has like a linen type of texture to it, which I love. And the color is just, it's perfection. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna go change back into my other outfit because I'm not going anywhere where I need to wear a dress right now. So I will be right back. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and thumbs it up for me and let me know in the comments which outfit you liked better. Also, if you haven't seen these videos yet, make sure to check them out. Before you leave, I just wanna leave you with a motivational message like I do in every video, and that is to enjoy the process. I was thinking about this last night. I always get in my head about these things. I either will look up a Pinterest quote that's gonna motivate myself and I'll share it with you guys. But this one, I was like thinking about it on my own. I'm sure there's some quote out there that's like it or whatever but I was just thinking about what we always have a goal that we want to achieve and it's like once I get to that goal everything is going to be amazing rainbows and butterflies but what we don't realize the beauty is the process that gets us there and that is the experience and the moments that we're going to cherish that taught us things I don't want to get too deep in the outro of this video basically I just want you to enjoy the process I love you guys I will see you in my next video bye guys